everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a amazing blessed day. I wanna thank you for joining me. We're gonna have some fun today. I am going to be playing along with Joanne Bartell and many other of my scrappy friends like Ronnie Sue and I think Kelly sometimes does Pink Fresh Friday. Um, Pink Fresh Friday is just a fun group of crafters that um, get together once a month and only thing we use to create our creation, may not just be a layout, it could be a card, it could be whatever you like, is Pink Fresh products. That's the only rule. You can do whatever you like. So definitely check out that playlist and oh, Joanne Bartell, she is the queen of Pink Fresh. And Ronnie Sue, she makes beautiful pages. You guys, you gotta check out these creators. I am so honored to even play along with them because I am nowhere in their wheelhouse. <laughs> they are wonderful, wonderful, inspirational, uplifting people. So go check them out for sure. Um, and I'm leaving a lot of people out, honestly I am. So definitely go check them out. Um, so today I wanna talk about, and I'm going to do, an eight and a half by 11 photo. We all have them. We do. Don't act like you don't, cause you do, and we all avoid them. Well, many of my scrappy friends do. They're not easy to scrap, they're not. So I think what I might start doing in my Pink Fresh Friday is I'm going to scrap professional larger photos. And it's not gonna be easy, but I need to get these done, so I hope you guys will come along from the ride. Definitely gonna start that in January. I've kinda of decided just to start it now. So we'll see what happens. Um, so let me tell you the papers I have, cause I don't want anyone thinking I did not use Pink Fresh. All right, so we have a um, Good Times. Let's see, I picked out a um, the best day, that is this background. Now, all I have done is math this, and I got unique with it because I took a half an inch off the top, a half inch off the side, and I used this paper here. The back side is a stripe, okay? And pink fresh, fried, pink fresh <laughs> um, papers, they are good quality. They really are. Then I used this green, which was this, um, I believe it was a, a Good Times, I believe. I don't want to fib. I believe so. And then I also had another The Best Day, which is this um, gingham, pink gingham here. Now, these are photos of my two oldest daughters back in 1996. Little Miss Jasmine, she's not so little no more, was just a baby here. She really was. I also um, can't, she's going to be 30 and she's going to be 27. Yeah, wow. And literally in a couple weeks, because Jillian, Jessica, and oh gosh, you guys, you know what? You know how many times I could not say my kids' name, because let me tell you, let, let's just have some story time, right? Jessica, Jasmine, James, Jillian, <laughs> and Junior, aka Jason, and then my husband's name is Jason. And then I'm a ginger, but I'm not spelled with a J. You try to pick the right name and the right kid. And then on top of it, when I go to the doctor's office, which this has recently happened because we did checkups and shots and all that for school, right? So a nurse and or a receptionist, and I was in the medical field, all right? So I, I, I already know I need to know this. So they will ask me what the child's birth date is. Let me tell you, I have 12-12, 2-12, for 12 different years, obviously. And then I have 923 and 930. Between the names and the birthday, I'm done. I know there's probably a 12 and I know there's a J. <laughs> I always look at them and I say, I swear I was there when they were born. <laughs> it's quite humorous. I hope that gave you a little chuckle. <laughs> you can laugh with me, right? Of course you're laughing with me. All right, so I have some ephemera from Good Times. I have lots of ephemera from Good Times. I also have the best day. I have some uh, flair from it. And then let's see, I got some more Good Times ephemera. So let me do this. I'm gonna dump it all out in my Dollar Tree container and I'm gonna dig through it. I'll be right back and we will put a page together, make a couple clusters. Cause what I'm thinking I wanna do is I don't really need a, um, I really don't need a lot of journaling. It's just a photo of my babies, right? What I need is to 
get these in their albums. And I would just put the year, maybe I'll tuck the year somewhere. Maybe we'll use some alphas. Maybe I'll handwrite it. We'll figure out something together to include it in a cluster. And what I'm thinking I wanna do is a cluster here and a cluster here. That's just to draw your eye across the page. Um, it might change, but let me dump all this ephemera out. We'll start digging and we'll start playing. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So let's just have some fun. I've got it all out here. Let me make some room so we can play and hang out. Now I could have swore, yes, look, here's even a little journal block that was in the ephemera pack. So we are going to start with that and I will just journal that it's Jessica and Jasmine, the year where we lived, which was Billings, Montana. And then I'm gonna create a cluster down here and a cluster up here. So let's just have some fun. Um, these were taken in the fall. Remember when we used to go to Sears? Do you guys remember that? Like we would always go to Sears and Oh, who remembers Montgomery Wards and taking their kids to Montgomery Wards to take um, photos? Oh, I sure did. I'm going to pop this out because I think maybe, now I only got one, but maybe I can cut it in half, right? And maybe I can somehow like put that up there, put this down here, and we'll anchor our clusters and build from there. I think I feel like this ephemera, these florals match um, Jessica's dress. How many of y'all had this print? This was a very popular print. Anyway, I remember going to um, Kmart even. Where else did we go take photos? I mean, you could get them done at Walmart. They were always in the front there. Um, ooh, we could do memories, maybe. I don't know, that might change. We might find a better one, but um, we definitely, oh, I must have had more than I thought. I thought I had more. Oh, there must be two of the same pack in here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Um, we would just go in and it was so simple. It's not so simple anymore, is it? Like, I don't think it is. Just to go, you not forget those packs of 30 bucks, right? No. Now they're, you're, you better have a hundred bucks or you're not getting anything. Um, are those the only florals for real? Well, maybe we might have to just work with what we got. All right, so live in the moment. I don't know about that one. Whoops, I just hit that. Tea time, that's super cute. I don't think I want that. I love this. Maybe we could even incorporate that. So that's a maybe. We're just gonna put them right here on the girls' faces. <laughs> Why not? Okay, I'm liking the leaves. We can tuck leaves in or around. Um, we don't want that one. There are some more hearts, so we'll take that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't, this must have been in the wrong one. That's a totally wrong color, isn't it? There we go, some more leaves. Okay, so now I have pulled out the ephemera that I wanna use. We're just gonna see what we can do with it, okay? So I pulled out two more sentiments and I'm gonna tell you, I already think I like the together. So I'm gonna take this one away and we're going to go just like this together and the together will go up on foam. I'm liking that. Now, maybe we could pop in, I wasn't thinking I was gonna like the blue, but I kinda like the way it pops out. We're just gonna trial and error and see what we can make work here. We could, I don't think I want the leave. I didn't mean to pull that. I do like these for sure. Could go like that, maybe a teal one. Let's see if we can't go like so. Um, and maybe a yellow. Just have it go up the side here. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. So far, so good. I don't think I want cozy up, although it is very cute. Now, let's go here. What can we, whoops. So since I have this one, this cluster, and all I did was layer paper, right? So since I have this one, maybe I can make this one scale down, maybe? Okay, so go, well, first of all, I need another, let's pull that blue in. So maybe I can pull this down, put this here, okay? Just like so. Pull it to the very edge overlap that, go 
go like that. I'm liking that. Now, take the same elements. Let's see, we have this one, because I obviously have more than one of the same pack. I wasn't paying attention. Kind of like that purple, so see if maybe we can find another one even. Um, I could easily switch this out for that, so that almost identical clusters, right? I don't know. We'll see how it looks. We can always change our minds. So this one will be at the ba bottom. Then we would, because we're flipping it over. And just my thought, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we're gonna try. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe we're gonna try. And you know what, I just realized I have the wrong stem in here. This one is the one that should be in here. Okay, I kind of really, really like that. So here's my thought. I could change so that this one is white as well. Literally make them the same, right? Like they are literally flipped. If I really want to do that though, I need to switch these two. So let's do that. We're just trying. Hope you guys will try things. That's how you know if you like it, right? Okay, like that. The only difference is this will have the little drawing block. This will have basically the title, okay? And then what if we took this one, the ones that's different, and just put it right there? Just because I can. Why not? <laughs> I'm good with that. We could even stick a few extra um, little sprigs in here to kind of beef it up just a little. You guys, <gasps> I really like that. I didn't think I was going to. If I had another purple one, I would add a purple one like coming out here and here. I don't know if I do. I'll have to dig through here. When, when in, I glue it down and I'm putting away my ephemera, I'm just over here digging, sorry. Um, if I can, oh look, I did, I found it. Score, score, score. Okay, I'm not using the hearts, but I'm okay with that. Do I like the purple? No, look at that, I went to all that and I don't even like it. I do like that pulled out more though, like this one, right to that edge, to that edge. You guys, I like that. And these little sprigs pull in this color so that it's in there, which it kind of is anyway. I think that's it. The only thing I'm debating about maybe doing, right, is where are my pink fresh? Oh, I have to find them. I have my pink fresh. I have these ones, but I have them in green as well. My um, jewels, right? So I think I would use those for enamel dots. It'll either be these or my green. I might have ran out of green. I think I ordered some, but I don't think they're in yet. If that's the case, then I will use these, but definitely some enamel dots in or around. And you guys, I think that's the page. That was really quick, right? They're really fun. All right. So let me go glue it down, come back, and we'll talk about whatever I do different. All right, I got it all glued down. I only did a couple things different. I didn't use my Pink Fresh um, Glitter Gems. I always forget what they're called. But I did use some Pink Fresh enamel dots that I had. And then I did ink um, this uh, sentiment before I put it on foam and I did raise this up on foam and that I pretty much did everything that we put together um, together I love that you guys leave me comments so please let me know um, how you like to use pink fresh how are you scrapbooking these ginormous photos that I'm tired of them sitting in a bin I want them in my books and I want to um, elevate them and enjoy them instead of having to dig through them. I want to flip through them in my album. So tell me how you do it. How, how do you like this design? I kind of like the idea of framing it. Now, I don't want to do everyone exactly the same, but this would be a go-to, right? It works very well for an eight and a half by 11. I did crop it down a tiny bit, but not much. I would love to hear what you guys say. I always answer you back. I hope you'll check everyone else out out that is doing Pink Fresh Fridays. Most of all, I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.